Hello everyone and welcome to our first video concerning EWD tricks. Now the EWD, a very valuable tool, but can be very cumbersome to try to navigate because of the amount of information that's in it. So what I'd like to do in this video is just take an opportunity to use an EWD and find out how I can figure out where all those wires and components are going. So let's start out with a scenario. We've got ourselves a RAV4 and it's a 2021, brand new one. And in this case we found that it was a no start and upon inspection we found that there was no fuel going to it. So I want to check the fuel pump out. So I get to the EWD that I'm looking for, which would be the engine control EWD for the A25A FKS engine. Now here it is. Pretty intimidating, isn't it? We've got all sorts of components, all sorts of wires, computers, everything else under the sun. So one of the things that is unfortunate is that I don't have any sort of description that says what these components are for, what I should see at wires, or anything of that nature. I know I'm going after the fuel pump, so I'm going to go to this left-hand column, find the fuel pump assembly, and click on it. There it is. Zooming in, I can see that it has two different wires to it, FP plus and FP minus. And then, when we get to the ECM, we see that it's FP1 plus and FP1 minus. Now, I have no idea what I'm supposed to see on those wires for voltage or anything of that nature. So, let's take this little trick. Okay, now, because it's going to a computer, I can utilize the terminals of the ECU section of the repair manual. So, let's do this. To find out what FP1 Plus is, I'm going to go back to TIS, and now I'm going to put FP1 Plus, and search. Now, here in the repair manual section, I can see that I, I have, as one of my selections, the terminals of the ECM section for the A25A engine. Click on that. And now I'm going to do another trick here. I'm going to hit Control F and I'm going to actually type in FP1. And without putting the plus sign in there, it brings me right to it. Now, it's saying that it's connector C40, terminal 19, its name is FP1 Plus, and if we were to check it with ground, or in other words E1, we would be utilizing the green wire for FP1 Plus and the white and black wire for E1, which is found on connector A24 terminal 10. And so, in other words, if I were to just check at FP1 Plus and ground, uh, the description of that terminal is that it is the fuel pump assembly for high pressure side and it's a signal wire. Now, it, in order to see what we would need to see from this wire, the condition is, is that it would need to be idling, warm engine, and the Daedalus parameter item known as injection mode would have to display direct. And if that, we've met all those conditions, then it says check out pulse generation waveform number 12. Not a lot of people know about this but if I scroll all the way down there are waveforms if I have signals rather than just constant voltages. So we're going to go down to waveform 12 to see what FP1 plus is all about. And there it is. So it gives me a known good signal for FP1 plus Plus, it also gives me my voltage division, time division, say that I were going to check it out with, with Picoscope. 
And then, of course, it reminds me again that in injection mode uh, on the data list parameter, it needs to say direct. Okay, so with this given, I can now go ahead and take a picoscope, go right to FP1 plus, and look for a known good signal. Hopefully this is helpful to you and is a great way to be able to figure out those EWDs and so you can improve your diagnosis. If you have any questions, feel free to contact your FTS or STS representative. Thank you.